Hello and welcome to another episode of This or That with Kobe and Jat. Which episode is it? 72. <laughs> All right. Uh, we have never counted the number of episodes. I, I just start. thought of that because yeah. every dive, you say exactly which episode it is. It is. Because we started it so recently. This or That is timeless. It goes on forever. <laughs> we have never seen these slides before. We have five of them No today. rules, no rules, let's go. Those aren't rules. Let's get into the first slide. <laughs> We said we're never talking about the rules again. Better LCS debut, Mike Young, oh. Contracts. So Contracts, I remember this yeah. one pretty clearly. Mm -hmm. And he was actually going up. People were like, he's the best jungler in the world. Yeah. People were already comparing him to, oh yeah, SKT wants to pick him up. Yeah, this is actually super interesting because Mike Young, uh, or as I like to call him, Rookie of the Split, Mike Young. <laughs> yes. Actually the had only a rookie good of the first split. week, but he didn't win a match. And the team protected him a, a lot game, with their jungle strats. And he, he went off in some of those games, but Contracts, I I don't actually think his rookie split was amazing, even though he did win rookie of the split. But Ooh. his first week was awesome. I was gonna say, debut, do you mean the yeah. games of the first day, or do yeah. you mean the entire- He started off his LCS career by 2-0-ing TSM, I exactly. think, so that's, that, that's, that's contract. That's why I was going with debut of your first weekend or whatever. Yeah. Pretty excited for Mike Young, though, and I think contracts is still getting better. Yeah. So both I like guys this one. Mike Young definitely uh, shows promise. Slide number two for this or that. Who will win, Immortals or COG? This is our Friday night matchup. Perfect, we get a discussion one. Uh, this is actually really hype because not only is it battle for first place, mm -hmm. this is battle of who won the trade. And, yeah. and people have been having so much discussion just on the junglers. They're like, oh yeah, Smithy, uh, nice guy, uh, shot calling. He's helping out with the mentality of the team. Yeah. You know, his direction for the late game is, is so much better. And Dardock is all plays, but yep. that has not been the case. No. Smithy has been huge in the plays. The early ganks, his Baron steal as well. Yep. So I, I really even just like that, yeah. that dynamic. Not only that, Poe Belter and Huhi also was a double starter on COD. So there's so much story in this matchup. With that being said, even though I think Immortals is a little underrated with the way Flame and Ole and Cody Sunman playing, I'm still on the COG hype train for this split because I think Darshan is back to that level where he was one of the best top laners in NA. Uh -huh. I think Aphromoo is recommitted and I think there is still more talent on that team. So I'm gonna go with COG for this Friday. Exactly, now I, I feel like the su more surprising wins have been coming from Immortals, but I still yeah. have to give it to COG. These games have been super close too. So much of this is on almost historic brand value with the <laughs> roster. Like Immortals has won so many games, but it's a totally different roster than it was winning in 2016. Yeah, also I feel like it's been a little bit more recent for Immortals as far as improve the improvements that I'm seeing. Uh, but that being said, I'm actually super hyped for the bottom lane as well, even though those aren't star players. But still that. Two of the best bottom lanes that we have in the entire league. Yeah, we said a lot of nice things about Immortals to pick <laughs> them to lose. Uh, we're both COG, gonna be a super hype matchup. Keep it rolling, slide number three. This or that, door and shield nerfs. LCS meta altering, yes or no? So the nerfs was you can no longer get 50 two health gold. potions, but you now get it's one. It's literally 50 gold, yeah. Uh, meta altering. I don't think so. I, I like still that we, like Dorn Shield. I don't think it's a meta altering yeah. uh, shift. I, I mean, Dorn Shield, like yeah, you're saying, you still like it because it's still usable. We essentially credited usable. Dorn Shield with being able to play supports like Blitzcrank and Thresh because you wouldn't get poked out by Karma. Karma's nerf, people used to play in those. I think you still go Dorn Shield if you want and the playmaker supports are still in. So I'd say the, the, the nerfs are not meta altering. So, and to an effect, right? I do think playmaking supports are here to stay, mm -hmm. and I don't think they will be affected. I do think that some AD carries are gonna stop buying the shield, go back which is play. actually what I wanted. So I think it's the best of both worlds. I wouldn't call that a meta altering change though. Yeah. It's a little bit smaller than that, so I will go no. That, that. I like right. the color coding of this or that with uh -huh. the yes and no as well. It's and I like they change it from thumbs up, thumbs down. Yeah, they're the non-anatomical thumb from last week. I forget how it was supposed to be. Something we like don't, we, we rarely, uh, you know, credit the producers. But more underrated pre-summer split. So before the split, who was more underrated? Another Belter Immortal or Dark one. It's a hype matchup, Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> he must do multiple slides on it. Uh, honestly. Even the colors of the logos are the same. Honestly, I feel like Darshan received more hate. So I don't know about yeah. more underrated uh, compared to their, their performance that they're having yeah. now. But I felt like Darshan was receiving more hate than Poe Belter was. So that's why I'm gonna say Darshan was more mm. underrated. Um, you know, he did have, you know, these MSI performances where he was playing really well in tanks and, and doing ago. a lot for a team. Yeah. It was a long time ago. Um, but it's been a while since since people were super excited about his Fiora or something like that, you know, split push yeah. and carrying like that. This dude, though, lost lane to Piglet last year. <laughs> and then people were saying, yeah, I, I, and he's been playing actually really well. So as much as I think Darshan is back to that level, I don't know if the public perception of Darshan shifted down as much for him as it did for Pope Belter. So right are they now, calling Koala? Right now, <laughs> Darshan is a Koala. I'm gonna go with this for this one. All right, we split then. Yeah, perfect. I'm still with Darshan. Slide number five, final slide. What we got, better hooker. 
<laughs> word choice. Question. Word choice, choice, but I threat. like I like the yeah. slide because so many teams we've been seeing even Blitzcrank in the Thresh so often. Mm -hmm. I always cite as my reason for favoring Thresh. You know his versatility. Obviously the Lantern. You know yeah. you can play defensively. You can save people. There are a lot more creative plays. Yeah. But obviously the speed of Blitzcrank, uh -huh. as well as the silence from his ultimate, is super underrated, which makes this a lot closer than just the oh yeah obviously he can hook and he can Lantern. Yeah. Uh, Blitzcrank offensively definitely has a bit more punch, but I still just love Thresh. Yeah, I'm gonna take this question a little bit differently and talk about just the hooks. I think Thresh is a more useful champion, but even just, grab, just looking at the hooks, Rocket you Grab is better than Death Sentence, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 That's why I thought you were saying that. Yes. Okay. We're good yeah, then. We just hooker. we took it different yes. uh, different questions. Perfect. I'm gonna go with this. Kobe's gonna go with that. As usual. Also, this is literally a hook. Ha! I win. <laughs> we're, that, done. we're done. We're done. That, that was the last slide. Nothing else to say to this man.